Pilates, a form of quadruple integration, we don't do form of exercise. So if you're not, if you haven't taken a class right before this, or if you are um, coming to this cold, make sure you walk around a little bit and you get your, just some blood flowing through your muscles. It's not going to be too much, but I want you to have a warm body. We're going to stretch a little bit and then we'll get right to the workout. So make sure your sit bones are on the floor. Get your head up your top on your belly button to the spine, your ear, shoulder, and hip in alignment. Inhale up, exhale up, inhale down, and let's go to the first side. Get, push your glute into the floor on the side of the stretching arm. Make sure your head's over your tailbone as you reach across your ear to the opposite wall. Nice, and hold it right there. Take a nice deep breath, and then exhale, and just take it just a little bit further, sinking that belly behind you. Perfect. Now take your hand on your ear and scoop that head across your body. Nice. You're going to bring the hand up again, rotate your chest over to the side, inhale and exit, and then hinge toward the opposite wall. So you'll feel that big stretch in the back of the head. Put your hand on your thigh, we're going to the spinal twist. If you can't do it, stay in that hinge. Bring the other hand around, and inhale and exhale, and take it into a spinal twist. Inhale to prepare, and exhale, bring it back to center. Roll the shoulders back, and roll the shoulders forward. Let's go to the other side. Let's just get our stretch on. Inhale up, exhale ceiling, inhale down, and we're going over to the other side. You're getting that nice big push toward the wall, pushing that other glute down. Let's do another big inhale and exhale, and take it just a little bit farther. Beautiful. We are taking our ear across our body. Make sure that the shoulder stays down. Then you're taking it back to the center. Rotate it. First hinge. Exhale out. Put the hand on the side. Take it up. Bring it behind. And you're going to hold it back there. Groovy. And again. Good job. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Bring it back to center. Put your legs out in front of you. Head up with the tailbone. We're going to take it down to the mat, holding under our thighs. Let's just hold under our thighs and then hold the part plate. Stick that belly in. Just hold it right there. Make that round, beautiful body happen. All right, then lower the rest of the way. Make sure you're taking it incrementally. You've got your shoulder blades, then your shoulder, then your head. You're going to lift your glutes up, walk them down the mat. We'll get our body up. Let's check our body going from one modality to the other. So we need to make sure we're in the loop for this modality. So then belly. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale and exhale those abs up and under that rib cage. And make sure you don't push the lumbar into the floor. And then we're going to close. There we go. We're going to try to do neck friendly work. Because those of you who are joining me from the last workout are probably a little fatigued. So we're going to try to really test our bodies all the way through today. We're going to take them a little bit at a time. So what I'm going to do is start with the tabletop. Then take the legs way up to the top and make sure that you're straight up over your hips. Drop your shoulder by keeping your paws. Your legs are at 12 o'clock. So I think you can take them to 11 o'clock. Hold them there. You can inhale and exhale and bring them back in. And again, and then you don't exhale and bring them back in. So I'm going to ask you to hold it longer than we usually do. We're doing 10 at 11 is 12. Over. Don't put your elbows into the floor or brace in any way. Five. Six. This is just a nice slow start. Seven. Your glute opposite comes off the floor. Get you wondering. Eight. Make sure your legs are pointed right. Nine. And ten. Good. Now we're going to take it to ten o'clock. So that's going to be a little bit more to bring you get back in. So that's when you really have to engage that core. So take it to ten, hold it, and then bring it back in. You can feel a different effort, right? Two. And hold it back in. Three. And pull it back in. Four. And good. Make sure shoulders are down on both sides. Five. 
that front of upper body is anchored. Six. Nice. Keep holding it. And seven. You're looking straight up, so I'll tell you when to bring it in, like now. Eight. Inhale, exhale now. Nine. And ten. And bring it in. All right. So now we're going to go as far as we can without tilting over and bringing that leg up. So it's going to be like 940 high. So take it over and bring it up. One. Again, don't use the elbows. Over. Bring it up. Two. Over. Come on. Bring it up. Three. Now you've got to be honest. Take it where it's really hard. Over. And bring it up. Four. Try to keep those legs together. I know the one wants to come up for the other one. Over. Bring it up. Five. Over. Bring it up, six, over, bring it up, seven, over, bring it up, eight, over, bring it up, nine, over, and bring it up, ten. Now hug your knees, go to the other side. All right, take it up. Now we go at one o'clock and bring it in. Number two and bring it in. Number three and bring it in. Number four and bring it in. If your legs are getting number five. If your legs are getting exhausted, just tired of the weight, bring one in at a time. Number six and bring it in. Number seven, and bring it in. Number eight, and bring it in. Number nine, and bring it in. And ten. And we're going to two o'clock. Two, and one. Two, two, bring it in. Two, three. Bring it in. Four. Bring it in. Five. Bring it in. Six. Bring it in. Seven. You've got it. Eight. Nice. Nine. And ten. Now you're going to take it to that farthest point. So let's go like three, two. Take it over and one. Good. Take it over three, two. Now try really hard. Take it over, not to push your arms into the floor. Three. I know you want to help your legs, but you really take it over. Bring it in four. You really want to use that core. Take it over, bring it in five. Lift your arms off the floor. If you're too tempted, take it over. <laughs> then you get out of balance. Number six, take it over. Pull it up, seven. Take it over. Pull it up, eight. Take it over. Pull it up, nine. Take it over. Pull it up. Ten, hook your knees. Nice job. All right, we're going to do a lying down scissor, scissor kick, which is going to be different than a curl up scissor kick. So it's not going to be doubles. It's going to be one, two, three, split, one, two, three, split. So take those legs up again, all the way up. So it's going to be one, let's go. We scoot up. It's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three, fold. One, two, three, fold. One, two, three, fold. One. So this will give your body a lot of vitality. Hold. So if you're feeling like it's too much on your back, you slow it down. Hold. One, four. Use both knees. Three, hold. One, two, three, hold. Okay. 
One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. Four more. One, two, three, three more. One, two, three, two more. One, two, three, last one. One, two, three, up your knees. All right, put your hands under your knees and rock side to side. Open them wide so you get big opening on that back. Good job. Breathing is you. Nice. You always know where we're going when we do rocking, right? We're going over to one side. Let's go over and go straight down the middle. So what that means is you're tucking them to thunder. You're stacking those legs. The arm is coming out from the shoulder. You're laying your head on your arm. Then you bend your arm. You point your legs, your arm, your stand, your upward arm could be up or down. You want to create balance, right? You need a pad under your hips at the time. Keep your eyes forward, but don't push your head forward. Keep it on that bus. So lift all the way up and lower. Keep the bottom leg pointed. Lift. Don't let the leg turn and lower. Lift and lower. Lift. Go for 20. So that's four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. So you exhale down, right? Eight, into that long spine, yeah. Nine, it's not about effort, it's about position. 10 more in, in uh, Pilates. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, don't let the leg turn. We did all that on Sunday, right? Five, four, good job. Big, big opening, three, two, and one, and lower down. Now you're gonna take one. It's really hard to not push your upper body back when you do this, two. So you really have to keep in position. Three, so wherever you put your hands to maintain that, Anchoring four, it's up to you. It can be up here, it can be down here. Five, six, seven, eight. This is all a precursor for what's coming. Nine, ten, ten more. One, nice. Get a nice extension. Two, we're using a lot of joint today uh, to help us. Three, which is a little bit unusual in Pilates, four, believe me, you're not gonna be mad at me, five, because joint helps, six, use up, work those muscles, seven, eight, you're gonna hold it at the end, nine, and 20. Now take it up, lower it down, take it forward, take it up, lower it down, take it forward, three, you knew this was coming, right? Forward, four, and forward, five, good, and forward, six, nice, and forward, seven. So you're bringing it back over your body when you lift it. Eight, nice, nine, good, and 10. And you know what we're doing next, the opposite direction. Take it down, across, one, down, across, two. Down, across, three. Down, across, four. Down, across, five. Down, across, six. Down, across, seven. Down, across, eight. Down, across, nine. Down, across, and 10. We're not done. All right, stack them. Take it to the back and one. Back and two, back and three, back and four. Try not to push your body forward, back and five. There's not much opening back there, six. One of the things that helps is to put your arm up above your um, eyes. Seven, it's like ballet. Eight, so you get that extension. Nine and 10, lift and down, back. Lift and two, back, 
lift and three. Back, lift and four. Back, lift and five. Back, lift and six. Back, lift and seven. Back, lift and eight. Back, lift and nine. Back, lift and 10. Let's go in the opposite direction. Lift, back and one. Lift, back and two. Lift, back and three. Lift, back and four. Lift, back and five. Lift, back and six. Lift, back and seven. Lift, back and eight. Lift, back and nine. I forgot I was doing. Lift, back and 10. Nice job, beautiful job. So let's take it over to our stomachs. Um, so I know how much time I have. We don't need any more planks. We don't need any more push-ups. We don't need any more back work, but we can do watch stuff. So let's get into table two. Before we go over to the other side. So make sure your hands are under your shoulders. Your knees are under your hips, sit bone width apart, your belly buttons to the spine, and your head is looking straight down. Come on over out with the thumb to the ceiling, put the other leg out, Ooh, hip height, and you're gonna hold it without tilting to one side, 30 seconds. Good. Hold it right there, don't let the leg fall. Good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice. Focus. Your head on your spine, don't look under. Make sure that leg stays lifted. So 10 more seconds. And put your hand down, put your leg down. Now we're gonna do something different to that. Same position, same side too. You're going to put your feet in panther. That means you're going to put your toes into the Lift off from your knees, take your hand up, take your other leg up. Oops, that hurts my knee. Sorry. And hold it for 20. So let me do it the other way. And hold it for 20. So lift off the floor if you can. Sorry, I can't do that. That was a big mistake because it hurts my knee. And just hold it right there for 10 seconds and then bring it back down. So more ambitious than I could be for myself. All right, let's go to the other side. Hand up, leg up. And hold it for 30. And hold it right there. Good job. Breathe into it. Make yourself nice and steady. Look down at that standing knee. Is it tilting to the side? Then you better center yourself, right? Come on. Seven more seconds. Good job. And ending down. And try panther again. Can I do it? I don't think I can. Well, try it if you can. 10 seconds. And then bring it back down and sit back into child pose. Let's do the side work on the other side. Remember our positions. Bring it out of the shoulder, bend it, tuck your hip under, point both hands. Very high work. Sometimes you just go to hip height, sometimes you just go above it. We're taking it as high as you can before the knee turns. So we're going to get a rotation. Lift the knee to turn. One, two, exhale down. Three, not trying to hurry. Four, five, six, seven, pointed foot, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Here we go forward. That's also a very long kick. One, extension, 
to get them into too much power into it, right? The re Four. You know what I like about this? Five. It stretches my back. It makes my back feel like a great six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Keep that bottom leg pointed and long. One. It's easy to compromise the bottom leg. Two. Three. When you're getting tired. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 20. Okay, 10 in one direction. Take it down, lift, and one. Forward, lift, and two. Forward, lift, and three. Forward, lift, and four. Forward, lift, and five. Forward, lift, and six. Forward, lift, and seven. Forward, lift, and eight. Forward, lift, and nine. Forward, lift, and 10 more. Forward, lift, and 10. Forward, lift, and nine. Forward, lift, and eight. Forward, oh, we're supposed to only do 10. Hold it right there. Lift, forward, and one. Lift, forward and two, lift, forward and three, lift, forward and four, lift, forward and five, lift, forward and six. The second time I did that today, lift, forward and seven, I think I had something on my mind, lift, forward and eight, lift, forward and nine, lift, forward and 10. All right, we're going to take it to the back. Remember that lift with the arm. One, two, three, good job. Four, five, six. We only do this one for 10. Seven, I do remember that. Eight, nine, keep that body steady. And 10, let's take the rotation. Back, lift, and one. Back, lift, and two. Back, lift, and three. Back, lift, and four. Back, lift, and five. Back, lift, and six. Back, lift, and seven. Back, lift, and eight. Back, lift, and nine. Back, Lift and 10. Now we lift, go back, right? Lift, go back and one. Lift, reach back and two. Lift, reach back and three. It's almost a circle, but not quite. Reach back and four. Lift, reach back and five. My lift wasn't very good there. Lift, reach back. There we go. And six. I made up for it. Lift, reach back and seven. Lift, reach back and eight. Lift, reach back and nine. And lift, reach back and you got it. Nice job. All right, come to sitting. <clears throat> so much time I have left. I'm gonna make sure I give you a good stretch. Okay, we have about 10 more minutes of a workout. All right, you're coming into this separated, you're coming into this. Um, inside the kind of a tree inside the leg and the legs coming out from the shoulder. So your leg is coming out from the shoulder. This leg, I'd like it across the top of the mat, right? right here. Now, what you're going to do, it's gonna feel like a stretch sequence, but it's gonna get harder because you want it to progress it. So your arms are gonna be airplane. You're gonna reach over to one toe. Then the elbow comes over to the knee, got it? So toe and two. Toe and three. Keep yourself lift toe and four. Toe and five. Keep going. Toe and six. Toe and elbow. But stay airplane. Toe and bend it. Eight. Toe and nine. Toe and ten more. 
toe and one stretch toe and two toe and three toe and four toe and five toe and six toe and seven toe and eight stay lifted toe and nine toe and ten now we're going to do ten with a lift but you can stay with this so how that's going to work it's going to be toe then you reach and lift that's one toe lift that's two toe lift that's three toe lift that's four toe lift that's five toe lift that's six toe lift that's seven toe lift that's eight toe lift and nine toe and lift that's ten let's go to the other side I made this up yesterday what do you think well, somebody else might have made it up too, but it's new to me. Airplane, toe. Great. Me. Thank you. I love your response. Good. Three. Nice. Four. Reach. Five. Reach. Six. Bend that elbow. Keep the other arm um, long. Nine. Ten. One, your head flow up with it. Two, nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go for the reach. Toe and one. Over your ear. Toe and two. Toe and three. Toe and four. Toe and five. Toe and six. Toe and seven. The toes are picking up. Toe and eight. Toe and nine and toe, and we like a nice little extra up here, and 10 and bring it back down. All right, let's stretch. All right, let's get into our wide straddle. Get off your sit bones and just come forward. So let's curl down, not a hinge forward. So we're coming forward into our elbows. Add it on your spine. Hands out to the legs. Good. Nice. And again, curl down, pull up through that um, rib cage. Pull it all the way up. And then bring yourself up. That should really, really help to center after all this sideway work. So we're going to turn to the leg. We're going to slide across it. Our chest will come down to our hip. Thigh, thigh is the word. And push a little. Keep breathing. Make sure that other cheek stays on the ground. And then we're going to slip and slide over to the other side. And then hold it. And let that other leg move. Then a little bit more. Then bring it up. Now, you may not be able to do this, but move one leg in and the other leg behind you. Some people can't do this. That's fine because it's kind of a fashion stretch, but we're going to try a couple of things with it. I love doing these stretches. So your legs is behind. It's kind of a not to die, I can't anyway. Bring it down. It's kind of roller stretch, slender stretch. And come down to your knee. Scoot the arm up. Come back. Turn toward that thigh. 
in a rotation, almost like a warrior right here, then bring the arm down and reach behind you. Okay, if that hurts your knee, just take your leg out. So again, let's bring it around, slide it down, and then bring it into your warrior two, and then bring it around behind you. Nice. Let's go back to the center. Open again to the um, straddle and hinge forward. Hinge means pushing out to, to the next wall rather than curling down. Good. Curl yourself up. We're going to do that on the other side. Right? Again, if it hurts your knee, don't do it. Come on down. Keep your legs out in the straddle. Then open to your warrior. And then come on down behind for a stretch. And come back to center and bring it down. Curl it up and open to warrior. And then come on down to your stretch. We'll get a little bit of thing here and come up. Nice. Coming back to the center. Flexing our feet. A lot of stretching going on today. Put one heel on top of the other toe and pull yourself as high as you can. Flex both feet and feel the hamstring here. So, if you ever want to do a passive hamstring stretch, you're not lying down, you're not inverted, you're not in a lunge, you just want to sit around and stretch your hamstrings. This is actually one of the most effective ones. If you can keep your feet stacked and flexed in the upright position, you're going to get that upper hamstring really lifted out of that. Um, out of that uh, whole uh, resting mode and into that action mode. Hold it right there. Now, we're gonna try to stretch our back a little bit. We're not going very far. Engine forward almost to our knee, but not quite. Do too much at once. And then inhale and exhale, curl it up, and we'll go shoulders down the other side. Stack and flex, lift. It's hard to get on your sit bones. You can do it. Just stay in it, stay it flexed. Hinge it just toward your knee. Don't go any farther. You're going to feel that hamstring. And then inhale and exhale and bring the bottom of the feet together. So I always like to go into the opposite direction. Holding your ankles, I'm going to rock back and forth. Nervous system stops, right? Nice. Okay. Take it out a little bit farther. I'm not going forward, push it down. Now, Help to be cognizant of your knee and your groin and your pelvic floor and everything. So when you apply pressure anywhere, ask yourself what it's connected to. So if I'm applying pressure on this knee and this is my, my this leg, this is my knee with ulnar arthritis. So I gotta be aware of where I'm pulling on the knee. So I like to take my hand up a bit farther. And one of the things that you must do, if you have to modify one side, you have to modify the other, or you create a uneven um, balance to your body, and then that creates uh, uh, distortion and pain. And this is why crossing your legs is so good. So bring those knees together and push them out. And bring yourselves up. Okay. We're going to, I know this wasn't very long, but I have to uh, stop the video, get ready for my next class. But I thought it was pretty effective. Roll your shoulders back. I really want to do Pilates today. And roll your shoulders forward. Let's do our next. So we're starting stopping about five minutes early. Put them into here. Back to center and then to the other side. Back to center. We're going to breathe up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up. I'm throwing to the front and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming to everything today. I will 